Hi, everybody. All right, so look whose audio is working today. Uh, yeah, I, sorry I screwed that up. Apparently, because I use iMovie to, to make all these, uh, when you plug in a microphone, you would think it would automatically detect it. It does not. Thank you for that, Apple. All right, in this video, or I should say in the last video, we finished up all the cam locks between the two pieces. In this video, we've got them both on the ground, we've got them cam locked together, and we are installing the nut plates that hook the two pieces there together. So, you might remember we drilled one small hole in the front of the canopy on both sides to Clico to them together to help, you know, with the fit um, and sizing. Now that everything is official, we are making it official. In fact, here's a picture. You can see there's not a lot of room. We really squeeze those suckers on. But it works great. All right. Um, so in the last video where you got no audio, uh, nothing really major in, in terms of the work. It was just putting on those cam locks. However, I did go through a bunch of Q&A, and I'm going to try to rush through that now. Okay, so what do you have left to complete? Thanks, James, for reminding me of that. So in a video in the future here, you're going to actually see me list all this stuff out. But let me just go through a list going from back to front. In the tail... <laughs> Got to finish up the lower fairing and mount the tail light in there and do the wiring for that. I have to finish up the fiberglass at the top. That goes for the rudder and the vertical stabilizer. I actually have to take them both off to do that because I don't want to do it on a ladder. I need to wire in the pitch trim and be done with that. Uh, I've finished the fairings on the elevators and the horizontal stabilizer. At least I have as of today, even though you haven't seen it. So i got to do that. Uh, let's see, moving forward i got to hook up the yaw dampener to the rudder cables. Got to do that. Got to put the experimental sign onto the baggage door, but that's a minor thing. Uh, in the cabin, i got nothing. Well, i got to attach the back window. Got to do that. In fact, I have to sand it a little bit because the canopy has shifted um, like a sixteenth of an inch, and I don't want that. I need some more gaps, so i got to sand a little bit of the back window. i got to finish up the canopy, including the fiberglass, which you also haven't seen, but I've gotten most of it done. To do that, I've got to swab the inside of the front fuselage area corners with uh, Pro Seal. Actually, I need to do that before I put the canopy back on. Everything in part about the avionics is done, thank God. Oh, I do have to replace the panel or at least put stickers on the crappy aluminum version that I've got, which would be disgusting. But we want to do that. Let's see, in the engine area, I've got to wire up the connector for the O2 sensor. Uh, I've got my exhaust, finally, so I need to install the EGT probes. I need to install the O2 sensor bung, which my buddy Larry is doing, and then actually finish installing the <laughs> that itself. I've got to put the quick disconnect oil drain on, which I've got plenty of room now, which you'll see. Got to add the cabin heat, finish up the, the baffles. I've got new seals for the fuel lines that go through the baffles. You'll see that in the future. I've got to finish up that as well. Oil cooler, got to do that. I got to put the oil cooler lines on because there's one of the fittings on the engine is being a pain in the ass. So there's a few things needing doing, if I'm honest. Oh, got to finish up the fairings for the wheels. Oh, God. Oh, and I need to remake my left brake line because I accidentally cracked it. There's also that. All right, so that's, that's what's left to do. James, in case you were wondering, and any date for testing? <laughs> All right. Uh, also, let's see. Next question. Rick, any update on the insurance bandits? Yes. My insurance company sucks. They said that they would not insure my plane for the first 10 hours of flight and that no one else in the industry would do that. So I got three quotes. Thank you very much for your help, by the way, everyone. Uh, and all three of them have said, of course, we'll insure the plane and the hull from zero hour zero. Look. It's not the insurance underwriters, right? It's not the people actually supplying the insurance. It's the agents. F***ing disgraceful, some of these people. So I'm like, because this, this woman's like, yeah, you're, you're, you're not going to find that. And I'm like, really? I found three. And she gets all pissy. Okay, fine. Do you want a, a termination request? I'm like, yeah. So if I do go back to that insurance company, I'll make sure it's not through her. And I'm not going to say who or what company. All I'm saying is there's an insurance company out there with a woman in it, and she's a biatch.
All right, so what you see me doing here, or have been watching for the last minute, is me sort of blending in those air scoops. So we've got them uh, connected and everything is great. We filled the pinholes and the cowling. So now it's just a matter of getting some more uh, epoxy down there to sort of blend it in so it's one smooth line, which is what you're looking for. So, all right, glad, uh, hope everyone's having a happy Monday. In the next video, more things. So thank you for joining me. See you soon.